Well, I'm not sure what that says about crab cakes, but that escape sequence was ridiculously easy apparently. Not sure how they pulled that off, but uh, they did somehow. And let's rejoice, we've, uh, we've again found the plot. <laughs> because uh, yeah, that section with Mila in the uh, underground tunnels, it was, or aqua tunnel I should say, uh, was completely useless. Uh, these guys uh, take a lot of hits and I was not planning on actually jumping on that spring yet. But you can safely stand on top of them to take care of them. And they do drop out a lot of uh, uh, crystals. So if you're in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the market for some more crystals because you're hunting for an extra life. Or you are after the, uh, what's it called, gem hunter or crystal hunter? I don't know. There's an achievement where you need a uh, quite substantial amount of crystals throughout your whole playthrough. So if you're after that, then, uh, you know, th those guys can be handy. Ouch. A dead rocket right in the nose. Uh, so, yeah, the game actually will start to show its teeth uh, from this level onwards. It will get considerably tougher. Let's get the uh, water shield here before the game starts to complain about needing air. Because yeah, just as a Sonic game, there, there will be a bit of a uh, nervous sound when you <laughs> when you run out. Although uh, you know, unlike uh, Sonic, these oh no, the first they're after us. <laughs> Unlike Sonic, the uh, the underground sections aren't as uh, slow paced, which is kind of ironic when you think about it, you know, a Sonic game being slow. Anyway, it's time for Carol to take charge in this escape route here. Um, but yeah, Sonic, uh, <laughs> kind of funny, like Sonic is known as a uh, speed demon of course, but uh, and yeah, the, the, the water shield I discovered actually protects you against these attacks. But yeah, um, interesting enough, he never seemed that fast when he first appeared to me. And that, you know, in, in hindsight it makes sense. Because that's just the, uh, the, the Paul curse in full effect. But uh, yeah, uh, Nintendo tended to do a much better job in localizing games to the European market. And as a result... Uh, Mario, actually his earlier games, tended to move a bit quicker than uh, Sonic's first outing. So when he was brought over as a, uh, a, a fast character, uh, it, it just made no sense because he moved so freaking slow. Uh, if you've never seen the first uh, Sonic the Hedgehog game in PAL territories, then uh, do give it a watch because it, it, it's atrocious. <laughs> Now the game was still fun, don't get me wrong, but it just made no sense, like they, it, it was brought to us as being this super fast game, and it, it, it just wasn't. Um, also if you were used to like uh, some Amiga and Commodore 64 games, there was plenty of stuff that moved much, much faster. I uh, didn't know that was here, but uh, I appreciate it. Oh no, the pigs are back! Mr. Quackman is, uh, is, is, is on the helm there. <laughs> it's kind of a, a comic relief character as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I was afraid I wouldn't make it. So yeah, uh, Sonic uh, later on became much faster. Like uh, Even Sega did a bit better job in localizing it to the European market. Uh, I think Sonic 2 already was a bit better at it. But, you know, Paul has never been great. But, you know, as, as, as a kid, I never I never minded because I didn't know better. So it, it was just that. It, just, it seemed really odd to call Sonic this fast when he clearly wasn't in the gameplay. This was uh, real funny. Anyway, uh, enough about Sonic. <laughs> Because uh, we're, we're busy in the escape. Uh, also, with those pedals that go up, you can actually not get... Oh, I forgot. We don't have the uh, uh, shield anymore. There should be a shield over here, which will come in handy. Uh, because we are coming up into a uh, little mini-boss. Or not a mini-boss, but actually one of those uh, duple fights. 
because look who's on top there. I'm going to get off here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Nira. She's a bit bitchy as we saw in the cutscenes, but uh, she makes for a very fun boss fight here. Uh, she can be a bit tricky, so you want to be careful. Uh, also because her attacks really hurt a lot. So you want to make sure that you um, jump over those, those, those things as she goes. And uh, yeah, Carol's... Uh, Carol's attack here really helps. Of course, you can also uh, uh, iframes through their attacks, which which is great. But yeah, her feral uh, her feral attack really I find useful in this uh, little account here. You do want to be careful because sometimes, uh, as you can see, like her attacks keep bouncing around, and sometimes you can end up in the air where that projectile will still hit you at which point you can just use the uh, special to uh, iframes through it if you manage to <laughs> be quick enough which usually I am not um, interesting enough Mila can actually uh, uh, shield against those attacks he throws out however you want to be careful because I tend to always get tripped up because if you stand too close to Nira you will actually uh, get hit still because it will just go through the shield which is uh, a bit uh, a bit annoying to be honest but oh uh, well we went through that uh, pretty nicely i think probably carol has the easiest time although lilac isn't too tough either as long as you keep jumping and attacking then you should be safe and uh, as long as the timing uh, keeps in sync with that those attacks not intercoursing with your uh, jumping But yeah, I like that uh, fight. It's a fun little boss fight and uh, Just be careful because if you do get hit it will hurt a lot Time for lilac to take it home or wherever the hell we're going <laughs> As we uh, take on the final stretch of this level where we're now on a submarine uh, but yeah, that was uh, Nira, so uh, you know she's uh, she's head of Popo, I suppose, <laughs> and uh, she's uh, she's okay as a character. Uh, as I said, she's a bit she comes across as a bit bitchy, like one of those people who's real fun at parties. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, I guess she is kind of doing her job. Uh, also interesting uh, in the sequel, uh, she will also be a def fourth playable character and uh, you know it'll be a uh, little bit cool she made an impact apparently people like her so uh, she will be joining the girls bringing the cast up to four uh, interesting enough at some point Fork and Spade were also planned to be playable but uh, in the end this was cancelled uh, I think it had something to do with the, the engine uh, this is Click Fusion, and it's some, it's an engine I have no real familiarity with, so I can't really say much about it. Um, it's it's kind of a shame too, because Torque, if you opt into the beta version on Steam, you can actually play some of his uh, uh, gameplay, and it's actually quite interesting. It's what the uh, the the round orb things were actually. Whoops. Bye, Nera. Oh man. Duck dude is going to get it when uh, once they get back. <laughs> he he froze he froze the boss. Anyway, we can now use this uh, ominous rain here to cover our escape, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the orbs were planned for Torque, where you had to choose which fire mode he would you be using, and uh, you know it, it was kind of like uh, Mega Man mixed with Gunstar Heroes, wasn't that the game where you mix and match? Your elementals uh, for the fire? I, I, I forgot. Uh, the name is, is keeps kind of escaping me. But yeah, that was uh, that was cancelled. Which was a shame. That's no good. <laughs> On the other hand, we've just got now an all-girl kind of cast here. And you know, it, it, that works fine too. Oh boy, come back here, you boss. Look who's back. 
Let's see if we can uh, take care of him again. Shouldn't be too tough. I mean, we did... Oops. We did uh, beat him a couple of times before, so why not do it again? Huh? No. Keep running into that, which was not what I wanted to do. Uh, again, real, just very fun boss fight, I find, uh, with Serpentine. He's not much different from before. Pretty much the same concept here. Um, with Mila, you can actually fight him now here too, which makes it a lot easier. Although, here now comes the difficult part. Uh, these dudes, they will appear later on in uh, regular levels as well, and they suck. Mila won't have much trouble with them because she can actually deflect their shots and it'll destroy them pretty much instantly, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, now it's the uh, second phase will start and here the cyclone will actually come in handy Quite nicely because you can get a lot of hits in Mila will have an easy tight time here as well because she will actually have to deal with far less damage to uh, to the boss here and The troops get uh, refreshed here and Mila will help you out now which makes it a lot easier to uh, handle them. As long as you stay sort of composed here, it's not too big of an issue, this boss fight. It's, uh, it's kind of neat. And he should be almost done here. There comes Carol in with the kill steal. should go home. So that's it? We just leave and let Tork die? What are we supposed to do? I like Tork, but this is so much bigger than us. We're just kids. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything? Look at what they did to me! To us! Sometimes I feel like you're trying to get us killed. How can you say that? I put myself out there on the front line so you don't have to! Yeah, and I always have to bail you out! What's the problem with that? We're helping each other do the right thing! But I don't want to do the right thing! I just want to spend time with my best friend! If the only way I can do that is by risking my life, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Carol! Don't! Just don't. I'm done. It's okay. I'm going after him. Alone. Let me come with you. No. Carol's right. Friends shouldn't let each other get hurt. You should stay behind with her. Mila, stay here. I won't leave you. So we're breaking the let's play structure a bit here by also playing this first part of this level with Lilac. And the next part we'll have Mila go through here, uh, through the second part of this level. Um, but yeah, that's just to break up things a bit and uh, make it seem more coherent I suppose. Uh, but yeah, now the drama starts and again it's, it's one of those examples where the game just shifts tones like in a rather extreme matter and it, it, it'll get a bit worse even uh, because the next part will start with a rather harsh scene which I don't really like but mm. you know at this point the game just feels a bit like uh, it, it's 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 like one of those emo fan fictions from DeviantArt uh, where they uh, go through the, uh, the emo, emo phase at least of the story uh, they all have them uh, why do they have them? Well, because they are the most fun to... I mean, I, I wouldn't have a clue. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, it, it happens and uh, it's, it's a shame, but whatever, what you gonna do. The game's still fun regardless. These, uh, these guys can be a bit annoying. We also will start to see the... Uh, uh, I don't think so, uh, Syntax. Uh, Syntax is uh, Brevin's robot servant, I suppose. Um, but oh well. Where was I? I don't remember. I don't care. Oh yeah, the game is fun. But you already knew that. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I do remember again this this at this part the game will start to really get much more difficult uh, because of those green dudes will be starting to pop up more regularly in the levels. Um, it's a little mini boss where we again need to destroy segments. Not that original, but you know, it's a mini boss. It's okay. And uh, that has made this key card appear because now we also have to deal with key cards. It never goes to ridiculous lengths like different colors uh, of, of key cards. It's always the green key cards. Uh, but you will sometimes need multiple to progress. And uh, now we can go over here. Those flames, they suck too, by the way. All the flames hurt. And uh, is there anything back here? Well, there is. There's a string to get you out of here. Well, that was useless um, but yeah those flames on the back they were also uh, whoops wow that uh, that was well played not not really used to that <laughs> anyway time for the next section here as we uh, move on uh, we'll still yeah now now we got these guys here and they are a pain in the ass because of those shots uh, they shoot free and especially when there are multiple of them uh, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass. You need to knock them out two times uh, and you most of the time you really want to deal with them as they come up because they can accumulate with uh, into a, a, a small army and at that point it's uh, it's not nice. It's 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 it can really get you killed. But yeah, stuff will start shooting more now and uh, you got this to make you dizzy, although it's, it's, you know, with the cyclone, it's not that easy or, or, or difficult, honestly, to deal with this section here. It's, uh, it looks more intimidating than it actually is. And, uh, oh, uh, yeah, when, when there's two of these guys uh, next to each other, it can be a bit of an issue. But nothing Lila can't handle. Um, you want to be sure to pick up this key card. I can't tell you enough how many times uh, I've actually uh, forgot that particular key card and had to loop back around again. <laughs> uh, which is uh, something that uh, I hope you will not make the mistake of. And uh, also don't make the mistake of actually dropping down there again because you will want <laughs> to loop back again, again, again. And again, it sucks. Oh man, I hate when they put uh, the... Is there anything down here? I don't know. Oh, well, good thing I actually went here first because there's goodies here, lots of shinies and I'm Dutch after all, so I need all the shinies. Dutch are like, uh, D Dutch people are like magpies, we need all the shinies and... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Dutch, so I'm allowed to make a stereotype, I suppose, because we can't we, we can't take stereotypes anymore. Because we all need to be offended by all of them. Uh, uh, you want to be careful with this stuff because it hurts a lot. Because just like with the uh, the beam guys, uh, there's no invulnerability time, so you will get hurt multiple times from these dudes, uh, from those streams of lava. And uh, it will eat through your health quite quickly. Although this one, at least, and you want to just push this guy back into the explosives here. Not too difficult. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you don't, he will push you into the lava. But yeah, there will be later on uh, um, things, stuff like this, where it will be instant death. So, you know, again, the game does a nice um, uh, job of introducing you. A small trick Lilac also has when using springs and if you uh, 
uh, use the cyclone as you come off of it you will go much higher if I can actually pull it off there we go you get much more airtime uh, doing it like that Oop, there's a fire shield which will come in handy because now we should be immune to uh, to this shenanigans over here yeah there we are ah, uh, did, did, oh no don't tell me don't tell me did I did I miss a uh, another key card over here probably did didn't I didn't I hmm nope I just went the wrong way. See, I'm so used to missing that one key card, I will immediately assume that I did it again. <laughs> but in this section, you actually do need to go to the left here because... Yeah, there we go. This is another bunch of goodies. Jeez, how could I forget about all the goodies? <laughs> and uh, yeah, right away, here's a section where you actually need two, two of the key cards. Anyway, we're at the end of the uh, lilac section here. Normally, as you play through as lilac, you will have more to play through, but I will cut it uh, short here. So, hope you enjoyed this part. Join me next time as we continue on as uh, Mila through here. But first, there will be a little detour for the two other ones. And uh, until then, take care. Bye-bye for now. The muzzle. Looks like it's payback time! Let him go! Or else what? Remember what happened the last time you messed with a dragon? Let him go! <laughs> Good girl! I want you to be nice and angry for this! <gasps> Before you decided to throw your life away and interfere with our mission, you should have asked yourself one very important question. What makes you so special? She's gone! She actually went through with it? Big surprise. Are you mad at her? Eh, I'll get over it, I guess. But we're gonna do things my way now. <laughs> <laughs>